Every moving part contains energy, known as kinetic energy. Do you know it? Don't worry. When a train running, it also creates kinetic energy and needs to be removed in order to stop the train. The purpose of the braking system is to perform a controlled reduction in the velocity of the train, either to reach a certain lower speed or to stop at a fixed point. The railway braking system is known as the compressed air brake system. What is a compressed air brake system? Do you know it? It is a system where the air is drawn into a compressor and stored in the main reservoir. Compressed air from the main reservoir is distributed along the train through the main reservoir pipe. On each vehicle, the pipe is connected through a triple valve to an auxiliary reservoir, which stores air for use on that vehicle's brake system. In this video, we will learn the concept of air brake system. The air brake is the standard and used by railways all over the world. What do you think? Is there any mystery? No. It is based on the simple physical properties of compressed air. In 1869, an engineer named George Westinghouse invented the first triple valve air brake system after considering the importance of safety in the railroad industry. However, his system worked the opposite way of a direct air brake system. Air brakes work on the principle of conversion of energy. Generally in trains, while it is moving, it produces kinetic energy. This kinetic energy has to be reduced to make the train stop. Here, the air is used to reduce kinetic energy by converting it into heat energy. Let's learn the basic concept of the air brake system. This system mainly consists of a compressor, main reservoir, control valves, brake pipe, triple veil, auxiliary reservoir, brake cylinder, and brake pads. The compressor takes air from the atmosphere and compressed it. This compressed air is sent to the main reservoir. Through the control valve, it passes to auxiliary reservoir. This air supply to brake cylinder through the triple valve. The brake valve is controlled by the driver, who can control the intensity of braking, according to the requirement. When the driver pushes the brake or apply the lever, the pressure in the reservoir decreases, which pushes the brakes pad toward types and applies brakes. It is an introduction topic of brake system. If you want to learn more about railway brake system, please check out our next video. Thank you. Let's grow up. Never stop your learning.